Hi, welcome to Miss Annette's Little Farm in the Big City. Now we really enjoy having Brownie, but Brownie has a lot of things that we need to train him on. And I'm going to show you some of the things that Brownie's been learning here on the little farm. Probably that Brownie was purely out of the blue. After our Jackie passed away, we were not looking for another dog. We were actually quite certain we were ready to be emotionally invested in another dog. And this happened by accident. Mr. Steve was at work. His part-time job is reading meters. And he was reading meters, which means that he goes to different little cities around where we live and he reads meters from house to house. He happened to call me, which he rarely calls me when he's reading meters, to tell me that he had seen this little dog on the street running around with a crate right beside it and just running around the crate and he wanted me to call animal control for him because he was busy at work and I said okay and then not even time enough to make another phone call he called he said he was gonna try to get the dog into the crate and then he called again and he said he got the dog into the crate with some help and he was gonna bring it put it in his truck and I said okay and then he called he said he was gonna bring it home and I said okay so he we made a lot of phone, he made a lot of phone calls that day and uh, he brought the dog and he asked me what to do with it and I said well put the, the crate in the garage because it's too hot in the car put it in the garage so we put the crate in the garage and then I said to him well I'm gonna go I'm gonna go check on this dog to make sure it's not hurt and see what condition it's in. And Mr. Steve looks at me and he says, be careful, honey, he's awful cute. Well, he was, and he was very scared and timid, and it didn't look like he had any injuries. I got a handful of food and I put some food inside of the crate for him and he ate it right away. Then I put some food in my hand and I fed it to him by my by my hand and he ate it right off my hand. So I knew that he was a gentle dog. He wasn't going to bite me. And so I kept feeding him a little bit by little bit and then I reached into the crate and I pulled him out and he's been sitting on my lap ever since. <laughs> so that's how we got this little dog, which is totally unexpected but that's how things are sometimes sometimes you don't know you want it until you get it <laughs> right but that's how it is with brownie for safety reasons brownie's first lesson is about gates i'm in and out of gates all of the time so his very first lesson that he has to learn is stay that I can open the gate and come get in and out of the gate without any trouble. Sit. Stay. Stay. Now sit. Sit. Stay. Stay. Sit. Stay. Stay. Smart boy, yes. Now I'm getting him to sit and stay so I can close the gate. And we may not get very far today. We may only get in and out of the gate today because that's a lesson we're learning. Stay. Good job, Brownie. Good job. That deserves a reward. Hot 
sit. Good job. Brownie needs to go for a walk. He's a high energy dog. He needs to get his energy out by taking a walk daily. However, he hasn't been doing such a good job at it. I've been watching some videos and now I think I know what I need to be doing. Ready, Brownie? Walking on a leash you think it'd be pretty simple. Just put a leash on your dog and take it for a walk. That's not as simple as it is for Brownie. Brownie likes to pull. He has a lot of energy, he wants to go really fast, and he wants to sniff everything, he wants to bark at all the other dogs. He, his little mind is going a mile a minute. In training him, I'm training him to follow my lead. I'm the leader and that he doesn't need to worry about anything else, just following my lead. And then as, as we progress and he gets better at it, then he can start have, relaxing a little bit. But right now, he needs to be trained to do that. I have a little bag, I, we just got it at the pet store, and I have some treats inside the bag. And treats are a really good motivator for Brownie because he's very food motivated. I want him to get comfortable standing beside me like this. Because this is where he needs to be when we walk with him. We had to move out of the backyard because Brownie didn't like walking in the wet grass. Sit. Sit. Good boy. Alright. Brownie and I will continue to practice for a few more minutes and then we're going to stop because exercises like this and training like this can be pretty taxing on a little dog. Today's doggy daycare day, so we're going to get ready to do that as well. You ready to go see your friends? Hi! Okay, sure. You want to go see your friends? <laughs> Look who's here! Socializing Brownie with new dogs and new people is an important part of his training. We got a gift certificate from someone who came to visit the little farm, which is really sweet. It's, we don't charge anything, and it was really sweet for them to send us a gift certificate and a thank you card. It was really nice. So Brownie and I are going to go use that gift certificate at the pet store. It's really good for Brownie to go see other places and to be places where he can feel safe regardless of where it's at and to get used to just, hey, we're going to someplace different and it's not scary and we don't have to bark. Oh, he's gonna bark. He is gonna bark a lot and his bark is piercing. And that's what I'm trying to teach him not to do, is to not bark when it's a new situation, to calm down. And that's why we're going to the pet store. Okay, let's go. Ready, Brownie? What have we got here, huh? Let's find you some treats. Yeah. Oh, good treats for you. To help train. Good toys. Good boy. Oh, here's some snacks. Uh oh. Good boy. Good boy, Brownie. That's my good boy. Stay. There we go. Good job, buddy. You're doing great. Okay, not. Oh, never get to eat donuts. Do you like it? You want to get that one? Mm -hmm. Good job, Brownie. Oh, good job, Brownie. Good. Brownie and I love to play ball together. It helps build our relationship, and it gives him a lot of exercise. 
It's so much fun watching him chase the balls. Brownie and all the animals get along just fine. He gets along with all of the birds. He even likes to chase the little chicks around. Sit. 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 Stay. However, Brownie and the goats do not get along and we do keep them separated. It's a lot different around here having a little puppy with all its needs. And honestly, I've never really had a dog before that was actually mine. I mean, Jack and Corbin, our dogs, our dogs Jack and Corbin never really belonged to me. They always favored Mr. Steve and I don't blame them. I would favor him over me too. <laughs> but this little dog for some reason has grown very attached to me and it's taken me a little bit of getting used to. I like being alone and I like being able to move around freely and now I have a little puppy following me everywhere I go. So it's taken a little bit of adjustment for me and for him. He's learning a lot and I'm learning a lot too and that's what it's all about learning. So here we are on the little farm. Me, my dogs, my animals, and you. All learning together. It's a beautiful thing, isn't it? Thank you for visiting Miss Annette's little farm in the big city. Make sure you get outside today <clears throat> before it gets too hot. <laughs> and we'll see you next time. Bye! Say, what are you doing over there, baby? Letcha just wanted to remind you all to be a responsible animal owner. Thank you, Letcha.